what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge of freedom i'm out i get that we can put that shit on for everybody else and you know what i'm saying we, we can put those 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 fronts up it's like yeah it's good all the time and all the time is good and you know what i mean you know quote the quote the verse and say okay i'm always about speaking life and shit but what about when the walls close in and you buy your motherfucking self and you starting to second guess if that thing is even there. If you starting to guess, okay, well, maybe I did something wrong that made this, made it remove its power. It's just not my time. Everything that you want to achieve in life is always going to be your time. If you want it to be your time. But how is it going to be your time? You have to take this authority over yourself. You have to discipline yourself. And you have to remain accountable for all of the shit that you do. For all of the shit that you do. Not just a little bit. You feel me? And then put the shit off on everything else. And when your bad moments happen, see, it's hard to be accountable for your actions when... Good shit happens, you don't give yourself credit for it. But when bad shit happens, you don't even put blame on yourself for the shit that you do. Nothing is ever you. That's the that's the fucked up part about belief systems, though, too. You feel me? I don't have a beef with them, but sometimes there's little shit in there that, that can become problematic. If my bad days are because a, a dark deity tempted me or did something to me or was just taken over or was busy... And my good days are because the good deity did X, Y, and Z. Where does that leave me? I'm just a walking corpse. These things have to move through me. These things have to have to have to have to express themselves through me. I can't even express myself. You feel me? If I do something bad, I I was talking to this little kid who was being bad in school. And I said, So, all right, what, what are you doing in school? Well, I feel I said, Why are you being look, this is what the little guy told me. Right. This is what a little guy told me, because I was able to get the honesty out of him because I wasn't a tyrant. I wasn't yelling or anything like that. I just spoke to him. I was like, yo, why do you why are you acting like that in school, bro? He was like, honestly, man, I feel like can't nobody tell me nothing. You're eight. What the fuck you mean? Can't nobody tell you nothing. But I said, OK, cool. I didn't say that to him. I'm like, yo, go ahead, because I wanted to get out what it is that he's he's like, I just feel like can't nobody tell me anything. I was like, why do you feel like that? You know? And he's like, well, because, you know, everybody around me just does what they want to do. But then they want me to do something like different. Like, I'm like, makes sense. They don't have that. You know, nobody to tell them what to do. So he was like, he said, if nobody, he said, if there's nobody to tell them what to do, there should be nobody to tell me what to do. I was like, yo, he's ahead of his time. <laughs> he's catching on quick. So I was like, all right. So we got that point. But I said, but at the end of the day, you know, you're eight years old. So. What is it that you're going to do? You feel like can't nobody tell you nothing. Who can tell you something? He was like, I don't know. So I was like, all right, well, what do you, what do you, what do you propose you do that you're going to start being better in school? What's going to help you be better in school? He said, well, I'm just going to pray that, you know, I can stop being bad that, you know, that certain deity, insert whichever one you choose at this point, um, I'm going to pray that they stop me from being bad so I could be good. I kind of snapped, not like on him or anything like that, but I kind of, you know, put it in perspective. I said, look, that DT, that I said, that's not going to, that's not going to make you stop being a bad. I said, you are going to be who's going to stop making you be bad. You, not that, not that being, I said, because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you're the only one that's going to, that can, that can make or break your moments. When you're in these classes and something says be bad, something also says be good. When you're in these moments and something says go left, there's also something that says go right. You have to be the one to acknowledge which way you're going to go. I said, do you like being bad? Do you like getting in trouble? He said, nah, I don't, I don't like getting in trouble. All right, so why you get in trouble? Because I don't feel like anybody can tell me what to do. That's the problem with authority. So when you create this authority, this, this authority notion, and then the discipline is fucked up, the accountability ain't there and all that shit, this is what you get. You feel me? Then we do this shit all of our lives. You know? So then when somebody really does tell us something that can, be, that can give us some structure and shit, we won't even listen to it. It's like... And a perfect, a perfect metaphor is going against logic, you know, authority and discipline. You feel me? Is on Martin. 
whenever Martin gets some fucking advice, he's either he gonna get it from Tommy or he gonna get it from Cole, right? The sound advice always comes from Tommy. The fucked up advice always comes from Cole. And he always follows Cole's advice. Had a booger, bro. He always follows Cole's advice. You dig what I'm saying? Why? You feel me? That's what it's like. You feel what I'm saying? That's how, like, like you're following the 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 the, di the negative dynamic because of what the discipline imposed and now it's like okay now can i stand up to the authority at that point that's where your consequence is